Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Retouching portrait photos can be time-consuming and tedious, especially when dealing with large batches. To counter this problem, raw editors have for some time provided batch processing tools that allow for global adjustments to be applied across multiple photos. Recently though, an increasing number of raw editors are going beyond just global adjustments by providing the ability to make local adjustments as well, allowing for even more time savings, reduced effort, and better editing output. This is made possible through the power of AI tools that can recognize and generate a mask for important elements in a photo automatically, like the person, background, face, eyes, and teeth. Two such raw editors that allow for batch processing with local adjustments are On One Photo Raw 2024 and Capture One Pro. Which one is better for such a task? That's what we're going to be answering in today's video. So let's start off with On One Photo Raw 2024. In order to assess the batch processing and local adjustments performance of each editor, we're going to be judging each by its ability to perform the following tasks on the same set of photos. The first task is to increase the exposure of the subject to let it stand out more from the background. The second task is to reduce the exposure of the background and completely desaturate it. So those are the tasks. Let's start off with On One. So here I am in On One. I'll double click a photo to go to edit mode. Next, I'll apply a local adjustment for the person. I'll click Local, then Add Adjustment. In the Properties dialog, under the Masking tab, you can select the Mask AI region. I'll choose People. Then I'll click Apply. There, the mask for the person is created. You can click the O key to view the mask overlay. As the task is to make the person in the photo brighter, let's increase the exposure. There, the local adjustment for the person is done. To avoid confusion when dealing with multiple layers, let's rename the layer to person. Next, let's do the same steps and add a local adjustment for the background. Click Add Adjustment. I'll rename it to BG. For the Mask AI region, I'll choose Background. Next, I'll lower the exposure and set the saturation to zero. Unfortunately, there are errors in the mask. This is confirmed when making the mask overlay visible. In such a situation, you have two choices. Leave the errors alone and perform manual correction of each image. That would, however, defeat the purpose of batch processing, which is supposed to save you time and effort. Or just reduce the effect of the adjustment to make it less obvious. I'll choose the latter. I'll reduce the opacity of the layer. Not an ideal step, as the background is no longer completely desaturated as what I had wanted. While I'm at it, I'll reduce the opacity of the person layer as well. Here is the before and the after. Aside from Mask AI, one nice thing about On One is it also allows for automatic retouching of facial features. You do that through a tool called Portrait AI. So let's click on the Portrait AI tab. As you can see, Portrait AI has automatically identified the face in the image. I'll increase the face brightness, eye brightness, whiteness, and detail. I'll also increase lip and teeth brightness. So here is the before and the after. Now that we have done the adjustments, Let's go back to browse mode and apply the adjustment to the rest of the images. We can do this because we have not performed any manual masking. 
all the masks are generated by AI. Here in browse mode, I'll copy the adjustment by right-clicking on the image and choosing Copy Settings. Next, I'll paste the adjustment. I'll select the images to be edited. Next, I'll right-click and choose Paste Settings. In the resulting dialog, I'll ensure that Apply Masks for both Portrait AI and Local Adjustments are selected. Once done, the batch processing will begin. There, the batch processing is done. So let's run through some of the results. As you can see, on the positive side, the specified adjustments have been applied successfully for both local adjustments and portrait AI. On the negative side, the masking errors are still pretty obvious. As mentioned, you can remedy this by reducing the amount of the adjustment, reducing the opacity of the layer, or both. So that is how you batch process with local adjustments using On1 Photo Raw 2024. Let's now move on to Capture One Pro. So here we are in Capture One Pro. Just like in On1, the first thing we need to do is to specify the local adjustments. Compared to On1, Capture One's automatic AI masking is limited to only two, subject and background. Let's start with subject. Click the subject button. A new subject layer is created. As required by our specification, I'll increase the exposure to make the subject stand out. Next, let's create the local adjustment for the background. I'll click background. I'll reduce the exposure and remove the saturation. Okay, the local adjustments for both subject and background have been set. Let's copy the adjustments across the rest of the images. To do that, I'll first need to create a style. To create a style, click the Style tab. Click the three dots button and choose Save Custom Style. I'll make sure that both layers, the background mask and subject mask, are selected. Next, I'll click Save. In the resulting dialog, I'll name the style Portrait Style. Next, I'll select all the images to be processed. Under the Custom Style section, I'll click on Portrait Style. Capture One will now begin the process of applying the portrait style across all the selected images. All right, processing is done. Let's browse through a few of the images. As you can see, the automatic masking of Capture One is far more accurate than that of On Once and is able to differentiate subject and background even with tricky edges such as in hair. Now that we have seen both results, which one is better for batch processing with local adjustments? Capture One or on one Photo Raw 2024. Well, if the results of the tasks is the main criteria, then Capture One should be the winner. As you've seen, I didn't need to lower the opacity of the adjustment or temper the amount of adjustment to reduce the visibility of errors as I did with on one. That being said, Capture One's automatic masking is quite limited. If your workflow requires the retouching of facial features such as eyes, lips, or teeth, and don't need the precise masking of people and background, then perhaps Capture One might be too limiting and On One Photo Raw 2024 would save more time and effort and be the better batch processor in that scenario. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know which one you thought was the better raw editor for batch processing with local adjustments. Capture One? or on one photo raw 2024 write it down in the comments also let me know if you do batch processing yourself in your own editing and what software you use i'd love to hear from you and if you like this content don't forget to like subscribe and share to help keep the videos coming until the next video i'm going to see you in the next one bye for now